Hello, lovely people. It's Joe here once again. Today, I am going to show you how I make this easy keto meal. So it's basically you start with salmon. And this was some frozen salmon that I defrosted. So what I'm going to do is to lightly spice it up with um, some salt yes so i added a bit of oil because this is not fresh salmon it's it's frozen so sometimes it becomes a bit dry so i added but if you have olive oil i would recommend you use olive oil but this is grapeseed oil which is also amazing for cooking and this is smoked paprika and black pepper and that's the ground one just to give it this um, spiciness or a bit of the hotness so the salt is going on and thyme I added a bit of thyme So you dirty your hands a bit and make sure most of the pink part I mean, get the spices. Ha have you used salmon? Because normally um, when Ghanaians say salmon, they mean mackerel. But this is the real salmon. Have you used it before? Let me know in the comments below. It's, it's an amazing um, fish which helps with the skin, the hair, and our health in general. So getting ready to put it in the oven, and this will go in for about, normally about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, it's done. If you don't want it to dry out too much, check it around, I mean, 20 minutes. So you get some of the, the liquid otherwise when you leave it in for a long time it will dry out in the oven yes yeah, so i added a little bit of butter just to make it moist you know what i mean and covered it so normally I would cover it to make it moist and I am chopping my veggies starting with the onions to make my easy, very, very easy, simple salad. And this is a keto meal. So if you want to, I mean, slow down with your carbs, you can always go in for a keto um, meal. I mean, say once a week, or twice a week just to change things up a bit and I will be bringing to you some series and I've even started if you want to check out my healthy foods and the plant-based foods it's in um, our playlist when you check our playlist you'll find it there you see all the keto meals that I've done and the healthy meals there. so if you want to change um i mean if you've eaten um, so much of the Ghanaian food for a long time and you want to change it up or give it a twist just go in there and you get some meals i this this summer it's my um goal to bring more plant-based and keto meals to you guys so you, you get a twist. So this is romaine lettuce. I normally prefer the romaine lettuce to the iceberg lettuce because this contains more um, nutrients, I would say. And um, when you use it, it's not so watery. So I, I just like the romaine lettuce. It, it's great and it's alkaline as well. So you know you're getting, I mean, all the benefits from it and you can you know one thing you can also 
change if you don't like the romaine lettuce you can use spinach or a bit of kale you wilt kale for a few seconds in the in a, a frying pan and just um, use kale instead but I used romaine lettuce here and I love it the kids love it everyone loves it here but we use it for our salads we use it for so many things there goes my cucumber and you know you know when I started this cucumber it was a full one and someone took some from me <laughs> my little girl she likes cucumber so she she took some and ate it I was like okay that's fine and I chopped the remaining into the salad you can peel it or use it with a skin sometimes I peel it maybe you've seen me peeling it before but sometimes I peel it sometimes I don't so it depends um, on I mean normally what I buy and well my gut or by yeah my gut feeling sometimes I feel like oh let me just peel it off because the skin doesn't look too good so yeah you can do as you please with them and these are plum tomatoes so these are the very not cherry tomatoes they are plum tomatoes but tiny the tiny ones they are very highly nutritious and also alkaline and so basically when your body is um, when you give your body alkaline or alkaline foods it helps to bring down diseases and other I mean illnesses and all that that's why it's uh, ideally or it's ad advisable to go in for alkaline foods I mean once a while or maybe twice a week or you start with once a week just to see how um, it is because too much acidity in the body brings about inflammation so that's a little bit of a health tip there that's why sometimes you just have to go in for the salads and the, mm, the fish instead of the meat or the chicken instead of the meat or purely plant-based just to I mean, see how your body is, is, is going and these are carrots sometimes um, I chop them this time I wanted to just and peel them to have this nice um, how would you call it stringy carrots in the salad so you can chop them or you can do it this way whichever way you, you want it I, I love to give you guys alternatives so you, you know that oh this is the recipe but then you can tweak it or do um, as you please with it because as the salad stands right now you can just go in for quinoa and just mix it up and you've gotten your quinoa salad so that's another um, another idea and I'll, I'll be making all these things or these foods um, for you to see how they are done and you can also tweak them to your taste or your taste buds so I normally make um, salsa at home so I bought this small, <laughs> tiny, cute processor just to, to try it. So it was the first time I, I used it. And well, it turned out well. At first, I think I had a, a hard time just using it because it had to lock and all that. But once I, I mean, I, I just I, I got a hang of it it was it's good it's, it's good I have a, a slightly bigger one but that one gives me a little bit of a problem but this this is cute so if you're going in for a processor and um, I mean if you're not going to chop big stuff I think a small one will do because it chops it chops well it's not bad so you see the salsa I added tomatoes onions parsley if you love coriander you can use coriander um, and pepper habanero pepper 
so that's my salsa done and this stays in the fridge for I mean a few days because of the lemon juice that's added to it so it isn't bad and one thing I think I forgot was you, you can also top it up with oil but I didn't um, put any oil on it so you can when you finish with your sal salsa just pour a little bit of olive oil on it so that's me there if you've gotten to this part i would like to appreciate you for always supporting us and um, always coming back to watch keep supporting us and what we would like to say is we love you so much give us a thumbs up if you like the video because you know what when you give us a thumbs up youtube um algorithm will say oh so this video many people like it so we're going to show it more to other people so you're helping us there and that's my salad dressing my homemade salad dressing which is very simple i'll teach you guys another time subscribe to the channel we love you and try this out and let me know in the comments below how it went isn't it lovely it's it's amazing sometimes you just i just want to keep the carbs out and eat the veggies and just the meat or whatever the keto meal we love you guys bye